Welcome everyone on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. Welcome to Move with Megan. I'm Dr. Megan Brady, physical therapist. And this evening is the final of our four part series on getting 1,000 steps. My goal this entire month has been to increase my step count. So I have my handy Fitbit, which I'll be putting on in a moment and just trying to increase the amount of steps that we take in a day. So all that you need for tonight, besides comfortable clothes and water, is a little bit of space to move around in and a chair for balance. So go ahead and get ready and we'll get started in a moment. Boston, but I did get to go for a little bit of a walk today, and uh, I was all sweaty after, so I took my shower. So I hope you guys got to move a little bit. I'm just around 8,000 steps right now, so our goal for tonight is going to be get up to 9,000 steps on here. That's going to reach our 1,000 step mark. So let's go ahead and get started with just a little bit of walking in place. So just starting to bring the heart rate up a little bit, just moving in place, lifting the feet up at a comfortable height, and just starting to kind of move the arms a little bit. We'll start with a few nice deep breaths in through the nose and out. I'm always so happy to move with everyone in different areas and uh, definitely holding me accountable, keeping me increasing my step count here. So just getting the feet moving a little bit. Interestingly today, I learned of a different way of walking. I was talking to another physical therapist who works with folks who have like swelling in their arms. So they were talking about power walking and squeezing their fists, creating a fist pump, a fist kind of moving uh, that blood flow. So we're gonna start by kind of starting to swing the arms a little bit more. And as you swing your arms, actively squeeze your palm together. Like you have a stress ball or some putty inside of the palm. So we're gonna continue those steps. Maybe a little bit more emphasis on the swing in the arms while still keeping the body up and your breath going. So our blood flow, you know, kind of all starts at the heart and the heart pumps that circulation out through the rest of the body. Sometimes areas of fluid can kind of get stuck, you know, and, and we commonly kind of see it in ankles, you know, at the, at the end of a long day. Um, but we can also sometimes feel a little bit of fluid collection in our arms. So just creating this fist pump, this kind of, not a fist bump, but a fist pump, <laughs> moving that grip, moving that squeeze together as we just get started warming up a little bit. So let's do another 10 seconds here. Moving the feet, pumping the fists. Although you can always pump them overhead, whatever you want to. We're gonna now do some marches. So if you have a chair handy and wanna hold on for a little bit of balance, that's perfect. If you wanna challenge your balance a little bit more, having your hands at your hips, Last week we also did kind of like a reach up overhead and a crunch. So you've got a few different options of where you want to be. The most important thing with anything here is that you don't have any pain. And safety really is, is number one. So definitely holding on for balance if needed. I'd much rather you be, you know, breathing, moving at a pace that's comfortable for you. So transferring that weight side to side as the one foot comes down and plants, the other foot is marching up. Really thinking about kind of driving that knee up towards the ceiling, up towards kind of the, the crease where the wall hits the ceiling. So we're starting to kind of activate through our hip flexors a little bit here. We use these so much every day when we are walking or doing stairs or bicycling. You know, we're really using these muscles a lot. Continuing to breathe. Let's do another few on each side. Another maybe one more each, even it out. 
and we'll just come back to our come back to our sips. So coming back to our walk in, walking it out a little bit. So we just worked the front of the body, the so front of the legs. We're gonna start to kind of activate through the back of the body a little bit. So you, again, you can hold onto a chair for balance, either at your side or in front of you if you're at like the kitchen counter. And we're gonna begin with some little kicks to the back. So it's gonna be a little kick and then kick. So we're switching sides, kicking that foot, kind of stamping that foot towards the back wall. And you may notice that your body wants to kind of tilt forward a little bit as we do this. That's fine, as long as you're not kind of tilting all the way over, you really want to still keep your chest up so you can really continue to breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth or nose. You can keep your hand on the chair for balance if you want to make a little bit more of a challenge when you're extending through that back leg, you can kind of use the opposite arm as a counterbalance. So as one leg comes back, you know, your other arm is kind of pumping forward. So a little bit of a balance on each side. We're really extending through our hip extenders. So a lot of like the gluteus muscles are helping us to balance, first of all, and then <laughs> continue to kick back. So we'll do a few more on each side. Extending through that heel, continuing to breathe. Let's go another one on each side, even out. And then we'll come back to our steps right in the middle here. All right, hip flexors done. Hip extensors, getting them done. Awesome. We're gonna now start to work a little bit into the sides of our hips. I wanna kinda keep with the kick theme here tonight. So you can use, again, that chair for balance. We're gonna begin by kicking one leg to the side, back down, and then kicking the other leg out to the side. And this tonight, I invite you to go actually a little bit higher in a kick um, before we've done kind of out to the side, and you're more than welcome to stay right there. Really, really great for the hip abductors. But tonight, I kinda wanna get a little bit of extension kind of with a little kickbox to the side. And if you want a clock, we're going towards kind of like three o'clock, four o'clock on one side, maybe, you know, nine o'clock, eight o'clock on the other side. So again, you can hold on for balance here as we go side to side. And you use those arms as a little counterbalance, balancing on the one leg as we go side to side. Awesome. Continue to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. So let's do another, maybe a few on each side. Extending through that heel. Let's go another one to the right, another one to the left, and we'll come back to our march. Nice job. I know I was feeling it. We don't get the chance all that much during our day to necessarily kind of kick out to the side or move to the side. So using some of those really nice hip stabilizing muscles there. We're gonna kind of stick with that theme of that out to the side motion with the leg. And this, I kind of think about as like a fire hydrant type of motion. So again, you can have one hand on the chair, or two hands on the chair for balance. So the one leg is going to bend the knee, it's gonna kick out to the side, and then the other leg is gonna bend the knee and kick out to the side. So with the knee bent, side, knee bent, side. So switching sides, hand for balance, keeping yourself steady, or again, that little kind of counterbalance with the arm as you go side to side. So right here, you're thinking about that that knee kind of leading the way. The knee, the outside of the knee, the outside of your heel. And it might be easy to want to kind of, you know, tip all the way over with this one, but see if you can't really keep as much of your body up straight as possible. 
I joke that it's kind of fun doing these videos because I kind of get to critique my own form either during or after and try and make some changes. See where you can improve. Let's do maybe one more each side. And let's come back to walk it up. Whew, glutes on fire, nice. So let's check in. We're already 400 steps down. So we're getting close to halfway of our goal. Awesome job. Next, we are going to do a little bit of a, like a square step. So we're going to step forward with the right leg. We're gonna step forward with the left, then to the side with the left, back with the left, and then back to the right. So we're leading with the right foot forward, then to the left with the left, back with the left, and then to the right. So forwards right, left follows, left to the side, right follows, left comes back, right follows, right comes to the side, left follows. So kind of follow that pattern, make it up, see what feels good. Kind of the outside leg for the most part doing the work here. I switched a little bit on that one. To the right, left up, left side, left back, right side, side, back, side, a few more forwards, side, back, side. By the way, if you're in front of the chair, you can just kind of keep it small. You can kind of be in the small area and keep your hands on the chair. Or if you want to kind of extend your steps a little bit more, you can kind of push off the heel of the foot. Let's do once more around this square here. And complete it. Let's come back to walking it out. Nice. So that was for the most part leading with the left foot. Now we're gonna be leading with the right foot. So we're gonna have the right foot come forward, left follows, right foot to the side, right foot back, left completes it. So right foot forward, right to the side, right comes back, left completes. Right forward, right side, right back, to the left. So we'll do this a few more times. Again, really totally up to you how big you wanna really make this. It could be these small, you know, tight, but strong kind of motions, or you can really move into a little bit of a bigger range. Continue to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Getting that heart rate going. Let's do one more time around the circle, around the square. Come back to complete, and let's continue to walk it out. Little motions there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take it to the side. So we'll do a little bit of side stepping. Again, you can stay right in front of your chair. You can keep it kind of tight. Go back and forth. Right in front of the kitchen counter, wherever you may be. Or if you have room to take a few steps to the side. Finishing to the other side. If you have a whole long hallway, take it down the whole long hallway. If you have a big, big room to work in, take that full length, really kind of Take advantage of your space, whatever space you have. That's what it's all about, especially in quarantine, just making it work. So keeping those toes straight ahead, a little bit of a bend in the knees, a little bit of a bend in the hips. Your tailbone is pointing down, so you have that strength with your belly button towards your back, and your chest is up nice and tall. Nice inhales and exhales. Nice. Few more breaths in and breaths out. I love doing side steps because they remind me of basketball. Kind of bring me back to some fun defense girls. Nice. So let's do one more time each way and come back to the middle. Let's bring it back to walking it out. It's always fun to kind of think about, you know, what activities have brought me the most joy? You know, what do I really like? What makes me super excited? 
to work at. You know, what makes, what just makes me have fun and just trying to kind of replicate some of those things, however it may be, whether it's in the house or getting outside, getting kind of creative here. We're gonna bring it next to a karaoke, which is the braiding. So the front leg is gonna come over, step to the side. The leg is gonna come back, step to the side, and then complete it. So front leg comes over, side, under, side, and out. So over, out, under, out, over, out, under, out, together. Again, right in front of the chair, small steps, or if you have this space, you're able to kind of close the hips, open the hips, open them in a different way, bring them back, and closing the hips, out, under, out, a few more. Big steps or small steps, either way, continue to breathe. Do one more each way, kind of even it out wherever you are. Nice rotation in the low back as we finish off and come back to the middle. Great work, everybody. Let's keep it up. So we're at 689 steps right now. So we are well on our way to making our goal of a thousand steps. It's amazing how, too, this just this little chunk, if you can kind of fit it into a part of your day, can kind of really you know, boost your overall activity level. And what I found this month is, you know, the more kind of chances I find to walk, the more I want to walk. So it's all about kind of that like creativity. Now let's do another bit of kind of a forward backwards step. We're gonna go forward with the right, we're gonna match with the left, and then back with the right, back with the left. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right comes back, left comes back. Right forward, right back. So we're leading and back. And again, could be small or could be pushing off the foot. It could be moving, kind of landing on the ball of the foot, like a hockey skating, skiing motion. Let's do another few wherever you are. Go another one forward one back and we'll come back to walking it out for a moment before we take it to the other side so wherever you are you may want to be doing the same thing on the other side you may have the pattern down and want to try something a little bit bigger go for it we're going to be doing left forward left back left forward left back balls of the feet so we're flexing forward we're extending that leg back being nice and light on the toes and using those hands as a counterbalance. Don't overthink it, just what feels good and what keeps you feeling balanced. So again, keep it small. If you wanna to start to kind of widen your stance a little bit, you could push off. A few more, breathe. Let's go another one forward. Another one back, and we'll come back to walking it out. All right, next up, one of my personal favorites, walking the line, walking the tightrope. So we're gonna kind of bring it down for a moment. We're gonna go one foot in front of the other foot like you're walking on a tightrope. And again, if you're kind of holding onto the chair, maybe you just do a few steps forward, and then we're gonna take it back. So toe to heel, we're gonna kind of come back. So we're kind of allowing the heart rate to come down a little bit. We're taking some kind of big motions and bringing it down to a little bit of fine balance work. Again, a little bit of wobbles are totally normal. Just your body kind of adjusting in space, trying to figure out where it is. This is so good for the balance part of the brain. And as long as you're doing it safely, comfortably, it's a really great way to get that part of the brain to grow as well. And just a few more. Let's go maybe 
One more times four, wherever you are. Again, breathing, gripping into the ground. And back. All right, great. We'll come back to walking it out a little bit. So nice to kind of switch it up, get a little bit of that balance work in as well. We're gonna add a little bit of arms in next. We're gonna kind of bring it up the body and we're gonna do a little bit of a punch. So we're gonna start with the right arm. The right arm is gonna punch forward and back. So just the right arm, we're gonna do maybe like 10 times, stepping forward, falling through, bringing that hand right by your shoulder. A little bit of rotation through the upper body. Five more. Three, two, one. Bring it back to walk it out for just a moment. And we're gonna switch it over to the other hand. We are going to go forward, and back, forward, and back, stepping into it bringing that punch forward, rotating through the upper part of the body. Five more. Last two. And one more. And we'll bring back to walking it out. Next, we're gonna take our punches to the sides. We're gonna switch sides, one and the other. So. Right in front of your chair if you want to, or a little bit of a bigger space. We're gonna punch to the right side, come back to the middle. We're gonna punch to the left side, come back to the middle. So out to the side, middle, side, middle. So falling through, bringing the hand right by the shoulder. Maybe you look just past the knuckles, right past the fingertips. A little bit of a head rotation. Breathing in one way, breathing out the other way. Nice. A few more, side to side. Awesome. Let's go one more each direction. And come back to the middle and walk it out. I love making good punches. And we've made a thousand and three steps. Nice job, everybody. We're gonna cool down with just a little bit of stretching for our calf muscle. So you can either use the chair or you can use a wall. We're gonna bring one foot behind. The other foot is gonna be forward. Both heels are down on the ground. And then as you bend your front knee forward, leave your back heel down. Leave your back knee straight. So sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna take a few deep breaths here. We want about 30 to 60 seconds to stretch those calf muscles. So nice inhales, lengthen through the whole back part of the body. Exhales, feel the back of the calf kind of releasing, relaxing. Good, nice inhales in. Exhales out, feel your heart rate start to come down. Two more breaths in. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you and out. Freedom. One more. And the next breath, bring both feet together. We're going to switch it up. The other foot's going to come behind. Give yourself some good space between your feet, by the way. This should be on train tracks, not on a tightrope with this one. Your back heel's going to stay down. You're going to bend into the front knee. And also seeing if you can't kind of keep your back up tall too. You shouldn't be kind of arching back too far with this one. You really want to have a nice upright posture with your back. A nice straight back knee for five or six deep breaths here. So nice deep breaths in. Lengthening. Breaths out. Muscles relaxing. Nice. Good inhales in. And out. Two more breaths here. And one more. And go 
ahead and take a deep breath in, bring your feet back in together. We're just gonna also stretch the hamstring. So go ahead and bring your right foot forward, the right heel of your down on, right heel down on the ground, your chest up nice and tall. We're gonna kind of bow forward a little bit. Not rounding through the back, but keeping the chest up nice and tall here. So use your breath in to stand up tall. And then breath out, think about the back of this knee relaxing a little bit. Five more breaths in. And out. Nice. Last three. Getting some good oxygen to those muscles you're just working. One more breath in. And breath out, rest, bring the feet back together. We're gonna to step the other foot behind. Now the left heel is gonna be down, the toes are up and the knee is straight, chest up nice and tall. You can start to kind of bow forward over that front leg with the chest and the heart shining straight up. Five breaths here. Exhales, relax, not just your leg, but anywhere in your shoulders, your jaw, your forehead, wherever else you might be holding any tension. One more nice breath in. And breath out, bring your feet back together. Awesome job, everybody. That is all of the movement for this evening. We're just gonna finish with a short guided meditation. You can find a comfortable seat in a chair or you can uh, lay down on the ground. You can uh, come uh, with your legs up on the wall or your legs supported over a pillow. But wherever you are, just finding a nice comfortable place to kind of rest. And the focus for tonight's meditation is inspired by a course I just took this past week with my yoga studio on courageous meditation. Uh, Norm is a teacher who really brought across a message that really thinking big, dreaming big is all of our purpose. So this is something I want you to think about over the next few minutes as we meditate. I'll just say for a moment or two that it does not serve anyone, the world, to dream small. This is something I really took away from the talk and that kind of reflecting inward and looking at what your real goals are and how you can really serve the world best is how you're gonna be able to really live your life's purpose and uh, live your life in a best way possible day to day. So over the next few deep breaths in and out, just start to kind of think about how you can live big, dream big, let yourself get out of the way of some of those big thoughts and dreams. We'll take three nice deep breaths in together. So inhale through the nose for three seconds, inhaling for three, two, one, and then exhaling for the same, three, two, one. We'll do that twice more. Inhaling in for three, two, one, then exhaling for three, two, one. Last one, really fill up, deep breath in. And out. So as you start to bring your attention inwards, start to just feel how your body feels in this moment. Is there some lightness or some heaviness that you notice? Do you feel energized? Do you feel tired? Is your heart still racing or is it starting to kind of calm down a little bit from the cardio we did? So next, noticing your breath. Have you kept your breaths long? Are they a bit shorter? Where in your body do you feel your breaths? Do you feel them more up into your chest? Are they down a little bit lower into your belly? Next, bringing some attention right to the middle part of your chest. And feeling in there 
what you consider to be your big dream. You don't have to tell me or tell anybody else, but just taking the next few breaths to think about what you could do if nothing was in your way. What would you do if you could really dream big? So a few breaths just to really kind of ponder on this. we just spend a lot of time talking ourselves out of what we can do and it's amazing what our bodies can accomplish what our brains can accomplish so just about another minute here for some nice deep breaths Just bringing your attention back to your body and how you feel in the space around you. Just noticing the weight of where you're sitting or where you're lying down. Notice any sounds or smells around you in the environment. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. And before getting up and jumping up onto the next thing, keep that thought with you about what dreaming big is for you. And what will you do next about that? Make a list write it down, review it before you go to bed or tomorrow morning, finding that just having that idea of what really matters to you and having that time for self-reflection, so important. So thank you for spending this time with me moving and move with Megan. And I encourage all of you to dream big over the next week. Thank you, Norm, for the inspiration. And thank you all for joining me this evening. Have a great rest of the night and we'll see you on Sunday at seven o'clock.